Weather alert, we're in for some excessive heat this week. Emma told you about that, and finding some ways to cool down will be critical over the next few days. I mean, you're right. It is going to be critical because it's just going to be so hot. Thanks for joining us, everyone. Happy Wednesday. I'm Emma Jade. Welcome, everybody. I'm Scott McDonald. We want to hear from you this morning. What is your secret to cooling down this summer? Text that to us, 602-444-1212. Hydrating, obviously important, taking precautions while these temps soar. We also want to share some ways you can still have fun and stay cool this summer. I think that's the impossible thing is like trying to keep it fun and for your kids, for goodness sakes. Team 12's Jen Wall, she joins us live in Phoenix. She's been digging around for ideas this morning. First and foremost, Jen, breaking news. Jen's birthday today. Happy birthday, Jen Wall. Happy birthday. Mm -hmm. a trooper working on her birthday. Thanks, guys. <laughs> I'm bringing you all an excessive heat warning for my birthday. You're welcome. <laughs> Just what yeah, I always wanted. It's going to be hot out there today. One of the many places <laughs> around the valley that you can check out is this splash pad right here. The water doesn't turn on for a few hours, so you're going to have to wait. But there are options, even though it is toasty outside. We're live this morning in Altadena Park in Phoenix. It's a perfect place to cool off. Just make sure you still bring yourself water, sunscreen, protection, ways to stay cool. Because even with the splash pad, it is hot in the middle of the day out here. The best part of this one, it's free. Valley water parks like Hurricane Harbor and Sunsplash are open and ready for the season. The Arizona Science Center, the Phoenix Children's Museum, and other local museums offer a place to stay cool while stretching your imagination. Fountain Hills also has a summer splash pad series, plus free summer games at their community center. Avondale, Buckeye, Gilbert, Glendale, Chandler, Goodyear, Peoria, virtually every city in the valley will also have their splash pads open and ready along with their community pools. Check with your local neighborhoods for options. And while hiking is not an option during the day on these extreme heat warning days and really during the day throughout the summer, people like Robert Osoria we met this morning, hit the trails to stay active and safe. So I have to switch in the morning because it's over, you know, 100 degrees, it's not, it's not great for your body. You know? So I like to do in the mornings now, yeah. And, uh, you know, I recommend people carry uh, lots of water, you know. I carry myself two, two liters of water all the time, you know, in case, you know. Yeah, and so Robert says he even brings extra water just in case he comes across another hiker or a trail runner that has run out. So super nice guy to cross paths with this morning. Splash pad behind me opens at 10 a.m. That's when the water is going to start running. And if your kids home from school getting a little bored, remember AZ on track has all of those free summer camps across the state this summer. So that's another great option. And Emma, I don't know about you, but my kids are obsessed with the mall, which I think is hilarious. <laughs> we don't go very often, but they've been begging me. So in the spring, I'll say we'll go in the summer when it's really hot. Well, and they just they like they die for it. They love it. That's <laughs> it's hilarious. Adorable. The mall.